Live on Longwood Drive, Series Audition, Danielle. I'm Danielle, and I think I could be the superlative sidekick to the host, because I know how to make an average person look good. Okay, Danielle, show me. You are the best teacher ever, Mr. H. Oh, believable, huh? Yeah, she's hired. Series Audition, Nicole and Rachel. And action. It's Rachel and Nicole. Sorry. I'm Rachel, she's Nicole. Okay, what do you got? Mr. Hart, stand up straight, stand over there, tie your shoes and look interested in what you're doing. Here's your lost clipboard. Here's your misplaced grade book. And here's your wallet. Okay, okay, that's good. You're hired. Live on Longwood Drive series audition, Holly. I'm Holly, and I think I'm qualified to be student producer because I could rearrange bad attitudes of slackers. Live on Longwood Drive series audition, Little House. And action. I am Lil Alice Anna Prairie, and I'm the person to look after everybody on the set, so there will be no monkey business. Monkey business? Shenanigans. Shenanigans? No trouble. You don't want trouble, do you? Lil Alice Anna Prairie? Series audition, security, Skylar. You know, Skylar, I think there's another way we could okay oh. you know we don't have we don't have to do this this way oh oh okay you're hired live on longwood drive series audition kylie and mckenna I should host because I am an avid talker, communicator, and overall a good listener. McKenna? Well, who doesn't dream of creating their own video show and pushing it to the masses, getting it picked up by a major media outlet, and having it turn into their 15 minutes of fame? Okay, anything else, Kylie? Just live on Longwood Drive, it's me, Kylie. Okay, McKenna? If I'm good enough for last year's Vegetables on Parade Play, I'm probably okay for live on the drive. Mm, okay, my choice is made. From Studio 124, it's live on Longwood Drive with co-host McKenna Connie on Kylie Pendana. A show all about kids, their ideas, and their dreams. On today's show, the Desiring for Donuts, Whipped Cream Races, and an interview with Secretary of State Donald Rifkin. And now, our meet, clean, and press, McKenna on Kylie. Welcome once again to Live on Longwood Drive. I'm McKenna. Hey, McKenna. Yes, Kylie? I heard that Mr. Jonas, you know the new first grade teacher, was trying to make use of all the psychology courses he's been taking to help the students here at school. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And yesterday, he started his class by saying, anybody who thinks they are not smart, stand up. And after a few seconds, little Teddy stood up. Really? I'll bet that teacher was surprised. Sure, but he realized this was a great moment to help a student here at school. So he asked the boy, Chetty, do you really think you are not smart? And he said, no, sir. I just hated to see you standing there all by yourself. <laughs> I get it. I get it. McKenna, 
McKenna. Hey. Excuse me. Oh, hi. It's your producer and schoolmaster, Mr. Hart. What's up? Well, I'm sorry to interrupt the show, but I felt this was important. Uh, your parents just called, and they were concerned, and it seems that you're playing a lot of video games at home right now, and they're concerned that you're doing that too much. You know, when Abraham Lincoln was your age, he was reading books by the light of the fireplace. When Abe Lincoln was your age, Mr. Hart, he was the President of the United States. <laughs> We'll be right back. Good night, unless it's daytime where you are. That's cool that we can watch it on the internet. I thought our first show was pretty cool. Yeah, you could say that. I liked when the whipped cream got all over Secretary of State Donald Rifkin. And now we have Danielle Stradford from the Live on Longwood Drive Show. Danielle Stradford! Hey! What's this? Hi. Hello. Hi. Shh. Well, listen. You know, I have lots of long, stressful days doing school and then working the show. So I have to eat healthy, stay in shape, and keep a sharp mental state of mind. Well, I don't think anybody here thinks you have a problem with that. Live on the drive. Oh, oh my gosh. When the good people at Key Industries showed me this fitness product, I tried it out. And I use it. I use it all the time. And I believe in it so much, I let them put my name on it. So here it is, the Dan Yellen into Fitness program. And now my assistant Anthony will demonstrate. The Dan Yellen into Fitness program device fits into everyone's standard fingers, big fingers, small fingers, chubby fingers, everything but chicken fingers. Oh, they're no no. When he pulls his fingers apart, he is getting the full benefits of gravity. Anthony has only been using the Dan Yellen into fitness program for one month and just look at him. Look at her. Live on the drive. <laughs> Let's take a call. Hi Danielle. I'm a first time caller. I'm a bulging fan with big, fat, funky fingers. Fantastic! Alliteration. Let's take another call. Hi, Danielle. My fingers are overweight, and I was wondering if I could use the Danielle and Into Fitness program to remove an announcer from the Live on Longwood Drive show. Smokey, you know, today is my 10th anniversary of working here. 10 years. Do you believe that? 
That is quite an accomplishment. They'll probably throw a big party for me. Smokey? Hey, you're the head maintenance guy, right? Yes. And your name is Bert Burbitson Balbert? Yes. Really? Your name is really Bert Burbitson Balbert? Two days ago, you told me you only wanted to hear me say yes, but you don't always ask yes or no questions. Well, forget about that for now. We have a big musical guest on today's show. Someone may slip and fall on their guitars or impale themselves on a drumstick that are all germy in front of all the nice children. Do you understand? Yes. Well, now I'm not sure if you're doing that thing or not. I didn't pick up after Tuesday's show. Why aren't you rushing to fix things, Balbert? You also told me to never run in the hallway. Forget any conversation we had two days ago. Okay. Would you gather everyone together and figure out a way to clean up and set up today's show? Sure. Disinfect, Bobert. Hey, Kylie, you may not want to go back to the room. The set isn't picked up yet. I need you to go over my speech. Did you hear what I just said? I did not. Okay, let me see it. I don't think you should start with, yay, gaudy kids. When should I say it? I don't think you should say it at all. And I would also cut the song. Okay, this is good. This is a process. I'm not sure what to do now. I think I'll just walk away. <gasps> oh! The shorties and the goodies and all the talkies like stones. Don't sing the song. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, can I get your attention, please? This is a big, big day. Our favorite teen pop star. Chick Justice is performing today. Chick Justice? Who's that? It's a crime-fighting chicken. And why is she our favorite? Well, she's the first really big star we've had come to our little show here. So I need all of you to be on your toes. Do your very best job. So if anyone has any other announcements or achievements, work, place, Anniversary. I have an announcement. Danielle has an announcement. I think we have time for one more. Well, I don't want to embarrass anyone, but... Yeah. I'd like to take the time to announce a milestone for one of our own. <laughs> Congratulations, Rachel. Yes, Rachel, of course. Congratulations, Rachel. After a lot of hard work, Rachel will be graduating from our intern program in association with Dan Yellen into Life for Pristine Preteens program. Rachel will be moving on from being our personal assistant. Good job, yeah. Well, congratulations, Rachel. I, I think you're... Not really. She kicks people. She kicks people hard. And then she bruises them up. She's super cool, though. This is a real bittersweet moment. So many emotions. I don't know what I'm going to do. Hey. Oh, today's the day. She's gonna boot somebody. So Rachel here is going to be training Anthony to be our new assistant. Uh, he got to do the fitness show too? As it happens, yes. But in his defense, during his brief time working here, 
he has demonstrated a little or no skill at anything. That is correct, sir. I have yet to find my niche. Sir? So if there aren't any other announcements than something to celebrate? Really? Nothing? Nothing else? Ah! Oh, I have an announcement. Ah, there is something else. We're having a contest. We're having a contest? In the same spirit that drove America to defeat all those cliché countries and win the Statue of Liberty, I'm holding a contest for Lila Longwood Drive's most valuable employee. How would a contest like that work? Because we all have different jobs. I'll tell you how it works. Wow me. Wow you. Wow me. Now you're just repeating the same thing over and over. I know someone who doesn't want to win a prize. Who wants to see it? Who wants to see it? Bring it on out. A brand new extended play wheel just to use around the live on long with drive set. Just like moi. Like moi? Wowie. I can't believe everybody's so excited to win something my older brother uses to deal with the fact that he has no social life. Yeah, people get crazy to win competitions. I've got young kids waiting to meet their singing idol, Chick Justice, so I'll have to resent myself. Resent yourself? <laughs> that is a sophisticated way of saying I'm going to take myself out of it. I know what it means. I'm just surprised you think you have to do that. Well, running my Danielle and Charity in outreach programs gives me a natural advantage. I mean, what's more valuable than helping people? Oh yeah, I suppose. But maybe then I should resent myself. I've got the best practices people coming in today to explain just what that means. Because Live On Long Would Drive is a web-based business. What's more important than bringing in advertisers? At the end of the day, who is going to say who is more important than who? Kylie. Kylie's going to say at the end of the day, who's more valuable than who?
These are some embarrassing moments that the reverse button is in me. Buy your own reverse button now. $23.99 plus shipping and handling. Kylie, this contest is a terrible idea. We have the biggest webcast of the year today, and you're having everyone running around trying to wow you for the Extendo Play Wii. And I'm going to wind up doing everybody's job. Oh, McKenna, was I ever your H1? What? What are you doing? The contest isn't real. But what's the matter with your eye? What's happening? The most valuable employee has already been chosen. Oh, you're winking at me. <coughs> Kylie, that's very thoughtful of you. After all these years, you continue to surprise me. What's a better way to pay back somebody who has meant so much to this show this year than a company-wide competition. There's no answer for that. Do you think the others will be mad when they don't win it? They'll never know. And it will only make them do their jobs better. Why are my fingers glued together? What are you two doing? We're painting Kylie's office. Tell me. Question. What color says wow to you the most? Pepper pink or vintage red? Vintage red. And I have a question for you. Go set up the chairs on the floor right now. Vintage red, of course. Little House and a Prairie, what are you two doing? You're supposed to be heads of security. Who are than all these streaming kids and that old guy? I just saw these flowers in the parking lot and I thought they matched Kylie's eyes. Would you get back to work? She just is here. Where's the talent relations person? Where's Alyssa? She's in the break room creating that clay head of Kylie. Yeah, okay, I'll just do everybody's job. Here, have some flowers. Chick Justice! Chick Justice, McKenna Connie, who's the live on the job? We're very happy to have you here. You remind me of someone. You know what I get a lot of? Jeanette McCurdy. Betty White. Betty White? She is so old. She had to retire from a show about being old. What a brilliant mind, though. I did a show with her once. You have her face, but her mm, plumper. Oh, cool. I think you'll like our venue. We hosted quite a few pop stars before. Whoa, I'm going to stop you right there. I'm not a pop star. I'm a rock star. You do have your own Saturday morning cartoon, though, right? I like you. You put me at ease. You ask really old-fashioned questions. I am not Betty White. This is what I'll need from you. I'm sorry. That's not the kind of thing I handle. I'm actually supposed to be rehearsing right now. Here's a problem. I wasn't parented properly, and I'm very rich. It's a brutal combination. So I will need you, you, yes, to get me a DVD box set of the first season of Hanging with My Funky Family. Hanging with my what? Just because they're grown up and funky doesn't make life any easier. What's happening right now? Look, I wish I didn't have to be that way, but I'm a nightmare. And if you don't get it to me in 30 minutes, I'm not going on your stupid show, so sorry, buddy.
Yours. Yours is not.